Hey everybody, it's me, John Leahy, uh, Closing Costs for Sellers. Today I want to talk to you guys about closing costs for, for sellers. What expenses, what items, if you are a homeowner thinking of selling your home, what things you should be prepared for, what things you should be ready for. I'm not going to talk to you today about how to get your home ready. We'll talk about that another day. Today I want to talk to you about um, what you're going to net what kind of expenses you can expect to have to pay for uh, or at least be responsible for as a homeowner who's looking to sell. Now, all the numbers I'm gonna go over with you today, it all depends where you live. Um, our real estate team, we're licensed to do business here and help homeowners in the states, the state of Maryland, in Washington, D.C., and in the state of Virginia. So we're obviously around, and I'm, the numbers I'm gonna use today right behind me here, I'm gonna break that down. I'm gonna go over those three states and the numbers and the calculations I'm going to use are based on those three locations. Again, it's Maryland, Washington DC, and Virginia. And of course, depending on the county that you live in or where you own your home in, that all varies. Also depending on whether or not uh, you're a resident seller of the state that, that your home is in, or if you've moved out to a different state, the numbers will vary. There are so many different variables. I'm gonna give you the basic run through of what to expect. Um, of course, if you'd like to just uh, schedule a time, um, either myself or one of my expert partners would love to go up to your home. And when we're there, we can give you a run through, uh, basically uh, to the penny of what you can expect to sell your existing home for. And while we're there, we can also give you tips on things that you can do, as well as, thing, as, well as things that you shouldn't do so that you can get the most money for your home. Um, now, if you'd like to do that, um, you can text me at 301-825-8793. And when you text, just put the numbers one, two, three, four, because it's as easy as one, two, three, four. Working with our team, we'll make sure that your home sells or we'll buy it ourselves, we'll give you a price guarantee and so on. Now, I wanna go back to really what the purpose of this video, right, is to go over all of the ex expected closing costs uh, as a seller. And I'm gonna go over right behind me here, all these things you can expect to see when you're selling your home. Now, some of these items here that you see on the board are things that you can control, and some of these things you can't really do anything about. It's just a number that you're going to have to pay. So on our examples here, and I'm gonna break down each one of these uh, numbers for you, so let's say that uh, you have a home and you're selling your home for $500,000, all right? Now, depending on where you live, these next three fields will vary, all right? The first calculation I'm gonna use is for a home in Montgomery County, which is where our office is at. Now, again, depending on where you live, just let us know, we'll change the numbers for you, we'll give you a more accurate calculation depending on where you live. All right, so county transfer tax, state transfer tax, and county recordation. Um, so in Miami County, the numbers are, in this case, 2,500, 1,250, and 22,25. All right, the percentages are, this is actually a half percent, right? This is a quarter percent, and this is half of one of uh, half of 0.89 percent of the sales price. Now, if you're in the if you're in Washington D.C., the total of these not three numbers is going to be seven thousand two hundred fifty, uh, which is one point four five percent of the sales price. And if you are in Virginia, for example, in Arlington or in Fairfax. The number will actually be just twelve fifty for the three, which is quarter point or a quarter percent of the sales price. Like I said, depending on where you live, where your home is, these three numbers will vary. Uh, so just let us know. Again, the number is three zero one eight two five eight seven nine three. Just text one two three four, and we can give you a more uh, accurate calculation depending on where you're located. All right. Now in the state of Maryland. If you are no longer a, a resident of the state of Maryland, you've moved away and it's no longer your primary residence, uh, the state will actually withheld money from you. And this number will be based on your net proceeds. So if you don't live in Maryland anymore, 
uh, it will be 7.5% of your uh, net proceeds. Um, if it's a, if it's a pers if it was a personally owned uh, property, I'm not going to put anything in here. I'm just going to in this example will be a home that uh, you currently live in. It's your primary residence in this example. Uh, the next one is FIRPTA, F-I-R-P-T-A. Now, FIRPTA or F-I-R-P-T-A is a tax law passed in 1981 that requires foreign persons to pay U.S. income tax on the gains. Um, they make from selling U.S. real estate. So for foreign investors who are purchasing or who have purchased in the United States, they are required to pay a FERPTA tax um, on homes that they sell on the gains. All right. So you need to know that if you are a foreign investor in the U.S., call us all right, and we'll, uh, we'll schedule a time and we'll give you an evaluation here of how much you can expect to pay that on the FERPTA tax. Okay, we want to make sure that you are netting as much money as possible. All right, the next part here is very, uh, very easy, which is mortgage payoff. Your first mortgage, if you have a second mortgage, if you have a home equity line, uh, we need to know approximately your balance or your payoff amount. So in my example here, let's just say that it's uh, $200,000 is your balance or your payoff in this case. Let's say that there are no penalties. Uh, I put in here other liens. If there are other liens on your property, such as, uh, uh, let's say, a tax lien on your home, then, of course, we need to put that in there. We need to make sure that's all paid off. Um, otherwise, we can't sell your home. All right. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Just put a, put a comment on the video here, on the, um, and uh, I'm more than happy to, to reach back out to you and help you guys out. Net proceeds, well, this is going to be the final number that we're going to talk about. Brokerage fee and admin fee, depending on the company that you use, you can expect anywhere between six, six and a half, seven, we don't know, seven and a half percent. It all depends who you hire. All right, now you get what you paid for also on the brokerage fee here. So in this example, let's just put $30,000, which is 6%, which is what you usually get uh, from your average agents uh, in the DC metro area. We're going to just put six ninety five dollars as an admin fee here. Out of, this ad, out of these fees, the portion that has to be paid out as a commission to the agent that brings the buyer is paid out. So not that whole $30,000 being paid to one agent. That's going to be split between the two. Um, and the admin fee is usually there to, uh, as, a, as an overhead cost that the brokerage or uh, the franchise of whoever your agent is uh, charges. Okay? Settlement fees. The next part are fees that's being charged by the attorney or the title company. All right, now in our area, the standard, the norm is that the buyer picks who they will use as a title company. All right, now you as a homeowner can also, uh, if you would like to, you can choose to do a split settlement. If you have a title company of, that you choose to work with, you can do that. Um, a lot of times it's much easier to just work with the company that the buyer chooses. Uh, but if you have any questions regarding which title companies are, are good, are trustworthy, are, are accurate, let us know. We're happy to recommend, uh, recommend to you good, excellent attorneys, trustworthy attorneys, trustworthy title companies uh, that we can recommend, recommend you working with. Um, so here settlement fees in our area. Um, again, these are just, uh, these are not 100% real numbers. These are just numbers, our estimates or average that we have seen previously. So settlement fees typically ranges from, uh, from like $400 to $600. Okay, so I'm just gonna put in here $425. All right, release prep fee, release recording fee, messenger fees. Again, these numbers could be anything. Um, the release prep fee is anywhere between $75 to $150 in, in the state of Maryland. Um, and a recording fee for uh, Washington, uh, for Montgomery County is between $25 to $60. So I'm just gonna put in here 185, and it's gonna be encompassing all these three, uh, these next three fields, just so that it's easy for us to uh, to calculate later. And under other expenses, all right. So depending on the market you're in, some markets, and also depending on the price range that you are selling your home, um, you may expect to pay some sort of seller credit towards the buyer's closing cost. 
all right? So this seller credit could be anywhere between 1% to 6%. Again, it all depends on your market. It depends on your home, depending on your price range, depending on the market condition, depending on the season, and also depending on uh, your agent, depending on how good your agent is at negotiating, and also their strategy in getting you buyers, right? So seller credit in this case, I'm just gonna put nothing, I'm just gonna put zero. But like I said, that number can, can differ depending on where you are and market conditions. Lender fees, under certain, cir certain circumstances, the buyer may ask you to pay uh, points to help them qualify for their loan. Um, I'm just gonna put zero in here, all right? Repairs, these are things that may be required to get your home sell to be sellable. It could also be, um, you know, let's say that during the inspection, when the buyer inspects your home, they may identify things that are not up to code. Right now, it would be nice for you to know this, I, these items uh, up front, and we would recommend that before we go on the market, before we start looking for buyers, I recommend highly to do a pre-inspection on your, of your home. So that way we know up front what things to be, you know, to be addressed and repaired before we start looking for the buyers. So that when the buyers come, they already know coming in, all the repairs have been, have been made. We can then uh, strive and, and, uh, and reach for the highest, the best possible price for you, knowing that your home's in good shape. So, but in certain scenarios, there may be things that you have to repair. It might be a leak, it might be an appliance that's broken, it might be um, an, an old, outdated electrical panel, so many different things. If you have any questions regarding those kind of things, just let me know. Comment here, or like I said, you can just text um, our special line here, 301-825-8793, and just put in there, one, two, three, four, uh, enter your address, and we'll get back in touch with you, and we'll, we'll go through this whole thing, customized to your home, and we'll also go over our strategy, uh, things that you can do, and things that you shouldn't do to get you the best price possible for your home when you do go on the market. All right, going back to here, I'm just gonna put repairs as zero, because we're gonna pretend that we already did all the repairs before we go on the market, all right, so zero. Home warranty, depending on um, the condition of your home and the age of your home, we, the, the agent may, may uh, recommend that you buy a home warranty or you, that you offer a home warranty to your buyer. Now, this home warranty can be anywhere between $400 to over $600, depending on the kind of coverage that you want for, uh, for you as a homeowner as well as for the buyer. So I'm just going to put a number in here of $500. If you live in an HOA in a neighborhood uh, with a homeowners association or if you live in a condo association, what you'd also have to do is you'd also have to um, order resale documents or it's called in a condo, it's called condo docs or HOA documents, right? So I'm not going to put a number in here because that can vary between, you know, two to $300. It could be way more than that. We don't know what that number is, but I want you to understand if you do live in a, in a neighborhood with an HOA or with a condo association, you can expect to pay for a resale document. The last three items here are taxes, water escrow, and others. The taxes are um, things that can be, these are adjustments, depending on what day you close, prepaid taxes that you already paid to the state or to the county, that will be rebated back to you or credited back to you. Um, I'm not gonna do any calculations there, but you can expect that to be, uh, of course, different depending on the day of the month that you close. Uh, water escrow is pretty much a standard wherever you close in our area that uh, there will be a water escrow anywhere between two to three hundred dollars. So I'm gonna put in here two hundred fifty, and the water escrow is pretty much to make sure that the final water bill for your home has been paid. All right, and the reason why that's important is because the water bill in our area is attached to the property. It doesn't go with you, with the account holder. So when you close your account, the final water bill doesn't go with you to your next home. See, that's a problem. Uh, that's why they hold the water escrow to make sure that whatever your existing water bill is will be paid off um, so that the new owners of your home doesn't have to pay for your old bill. All right, for your old water usage. So I'm gonna put in here 250. Now, if you already paid that, if you already closed out your final water bill, then you can expect that full $250 to be fully refunded to you. Just make sure you let your attorney, your title company know 
um, of where your new mailing address is or um, where to pretty much where to send the check and who to make it payable to and they will refund that amount to you if you already paid the final water bill all right um, and then there's I put in here other because there's always other things there are all not always but don't be surprised if there are surprises right um, real estate is not an it's not an event it's a process and within that process the job of the real estate agent is to make sure there are as few surprises, as few bumps on the road as can be, so that it's a smooth process for you, so that you can get your home sold fast for top dollar, and the best part is with the least amount of hassle. That's our goal, and my responsibility, if you do choose to, uh, to work with our team, my job, my responsibility to you is to get you the most demand for your home, because when you know there's a lot of demand for a product, the value, the price goes up. When there's no when there are, there's no demand for a product, the value goes down. So my responsibility to you as if you decide to interview us and, and check us out, I'll make sure you get the best price for your home and sold at your time frame and overall the least amount of hassle. We want to make sure it's a pleasant experience for you guys. Now using all these numbers that we just put in here, the total closing cost is 288.30. All right. Which means your seller, your estimated net in this case, uh, let me calculate that just to make sure we have the right number. It's 2.11. Seven zero. Okay, so that is the estimated net proceeds based on these calculations. Like I said in the beginning, these numbers are all calculations, and there's a lot of variables depending on where you live, what county you live in, if you live in an incorporated city with special taxes. Uh, of course, these numbers will be different. Um, it all depends on what state, what city. It also depends on market condition because some of these things are actually uh, negotiated between you, the homeowner, and the buyers that you're going to be negotiating with. Now, my job, if you decide to, if you are a homeowner today that's thinking of selling in 2019, 2020, whatever it is, right? Because we're not going out of business anytime soon. We would love to help you out. We would love to have a chance to interview with you and show us how we can get you top dollar for your home, get your home sold at your time frame, in your time frame, and with the least amount of hassle. We would love to show you also a way, our strategy to get you multiple buyers for your home. Because when there's one buyer that falls in love with your home, what's gonna happen is that buyer's gonna negotiate against you. But my job and all of our marketing systems and our, um, or all of our consumer programs was designed to create multiple offers to generate more demand and create demand for your property, for your home. And if I can get you multiple buyers, one, two, three, four, anything more than one buyers to fall in love with your home at the same time, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the buyers negotiate against each other. And what happens when you have multiple offers for your home, when you have buyers fighting for the right to purchase your home, you have all the leverage as the homeowner. The price at that point, they're not negotiating against you, they're bidding against each other to get the price higher. And that is all the leverage you need as a homeowner to get the highest net proceeds possible. Now all that, it's not about asking price because an agent can tell you anything that you wanna hear just to get your business. It's not about the asking price, it's about sales price and it's about net proceeds. The end of the day, it's not the agent who promises to sell your home at the highest price. The end of the day, it's about what you net that matters. And when you get the highest net, that's when hopefully you'll be happy. So find an agent. If you are not in the DC metro area, find an agent who can get you and guarantee you a high net price. But that's based on statistics, based on market condition, based on their market expertise. If you'd like to hear from me about um, all the other agents that I partner with across the nation, across North America, let me know. I will be able to get you in touch with the best agents in the area. If you're in the D.C., Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, uh, we're also licensed in Delaware. In our marketplace, and you want to get the, 
a top dollar for your home, please let me know. My direct number is 301-651-4900. Um, if you'd like to schedule a time to do a home evaluation or market evaluation of your existing home, you can also just text 301-825-8793. Just put on the text message the numbers one, two, three, eighteen. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in and listening. If this has been helpful, do me a huge favor and follow us on YouTube. I'm gonna post in here um, the link, the URL for our YouTube channel. Also, just follow us on Facebook. We would love to uh, to be of value and to provide you more uh, useful content in in your journey of buying and selling real estate. Have a great day.